It's not every day or really ever that I speak on Jordans, let alone Jordan Lowe's, let alone a slight collaboration or a pair that's highly influenced from a skateboarding legend. Today, I'm gonna do my best to dive into this pair, break them down for you, talk about them, and give you my opinion on them. So, obviously, you see the title of the video. Today, we are talking about the Nike SB Air Jordan 1 Low Desert Oars being deemed the Lance Mountains. Now, before we dive in, if you don't know who Lance is, he's a skater from the 80s, you know, with, with grew up with the likes of Steve Caballero, um, Christian Asoy, uh, Tony Hawk, um, just a, just a slew of iconic skateboarders was uh, was heavily into the Bones Brigade. I'm not gonna pretend like I like I know a whole lot. I did skate for a large portion of my life. I was never very good, so we'll just leave it at that. But uh, but I do appreciate skateboarding. I do appreciate the culture, and obviously I live reside and grew up in Southern California. So it was a big part of my life. So I can definitely appreciate a historical sneaker or a sneaker with historical influences like these. With all of that said, I'm stoked on these. I love them. I haven't had a pair of Air Jordan 1 Lows ever. I'll be completely honest, just because they were never really something that I thought that I could one, pull off, you know, I don't know. There's not really a two. I think I was just never a huge fan of the ones. I don't really uh, rock heavily with the, with one mids or highs. I love them. I'm one of the biggest Jordan fans you'll ever meet. But I was just, all when I, when I played ball, I was always into the 11s, the 12s, and the 13s just because that was like my, my middle school years. And, uh, and when I was growing up, my stepdad always put me in threes and, uh, and fives, and they were just, you know, I was just never, by the time I became a sneaker head, if you will, I was just more into runners, you know? And so I'm, I'm trying to definitely broaden my horizons. And when this pair, um, when this pair first came on my radar, I saw Eric Costin wearing them, I think courtside at a Laker game, if I'm not mistaken, may have not been a Laker game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Laker game. And, uh, and I knew I needed to grab them. So I'm glad I was able to. So like I said, this is the Desert Ore Jordan 1 SB Low. And we'll, we'll go ahead and start with the left shoe just because we do have to break down both of them. Both shoes have a, a canvas Desert Ore color or tan color. On the left shoe, however, you have secondary underlays in black tones as well as royal blue tones when you head to the back portion of the shoe, as well as it's a black on the tongue tag with that same royal blue. And then you have a full black liner. And then on the right shoe, you have the same desert or upper with secondary underlays of almost a, uh, almost a ocean blue, but I think they refer to it as a mineral, probably the same exact thing. And also slight hits of royal throughout on the, uh, on the underlays underneath all the, all the desert or up top. Heading up to the tongue tag that I mentioned on the other shoe, all white on this side, mineral blue accents, and then both shoes come out of the box with white laces. Worth mentioning, however, you do have alternates in the mineral and in the black. When I first saw these, obviously, Eric Costin had the left shoe laced up in black and the right's in the blue. I'm probably gonna copy him. Now, outside of the upper on the left shoe, well, both left and right sneakers are going to have that full solid rubber polyurethane midsole outsole. However, the left shoe starts off as white, head down to the outsole portion, and you've got the Royal Blues. This is a classic outsole, same outsole that's on the Jordan 1s. If you haven't seen this, I don't really know where you've been. Heading over to the right shoe, same white midsole, head down to the bottom, you've got that mineral blue outsole. Again, very classic in just sneaker history. This is a historical outsole and uh, and obviously been on, been on the Jordan 1 since the, the mid 80s. Once again, I'm no pro when it comes to talking on the Jordans, you know, and, uh, and I can only improve by doing things like this and I'm going to definitely do so. I love this sneaker, man. I think it's one of the best Jordan 1 lows to drop to date. 
and I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of people who disagree with me. I just love the colorway, man. I think the, I think the desert or tans paired with the blacks and blues throughout is just beautiful. I did say earlier that these were inspired by Lance, uh, Lance Mountain. So I'm gonna throw up the picture on the screen right now for you guys. And that's where the influence comes from. Um, it's just a classic picture of Lance on a, on a board way back in the 80s. And I did mention also that we saw Costin sporting these um, courtside recently. So here's the picture of him for you guys to take a look at if you haven't seen that one yet. And if you don't know Costin, man, my favorite skater of all time, just a, a huge influence in the whole uh, skateboard industry. Definitely a hall of famer when it comes to skateboarding. Outside of the uppers and the outsole, midsole area, I think it is worth pulling out the insoles. They are rather thick, little cushiony, just because this is 80s technology so they've got to do a little bit to give you a um, little extra comfort built in you can see the both insoles do have differentiations in their designs but overall the midsole is uh, of the same construction you do have a nike air bubble or pocket beneath uh beneath your heel right there again just extra padding and you know shout out to nike because Without that, these might be rather uncomfortable, especially in the heel area. And aside that, as far as the breakdown goes, I don't think there's really much else that I really need to touch on. I think a Jordan 1 low is a Jordan 1 low, and uh, and I think it was just really about the design and, and the history and, and background of this sneaker. So hopefully I did a decent job of conveying that. Obviously, there is a price that comes with these. It is 120 bucks USD. Obviously, again, on the lower end when it comes to all the sneakers that I speak on, so it's nice to pick up something that, that does have so much character to it at such a low price, again, in relevance to everything else that I purchased. As far as comfort goes, it's a skate shoe, it's a Jordan 1, it's uh, is both, I guess, and uh, give it like a 7-ish because they're not mad comfy, but they're wearable. It's not something that you're gonna wanna throw on feet and wear for, for days at a time, in my opinion. If you're skating, hell yeah, it's it's a damn comfy shoe. Outside of that though, just walking around doing your thing, seven, seven-ish is probably where I'm gonna leave it at. And as far as sizing goes, I accidentally snagged a 10 when I am a 10 and a half, but they fit. I'm not sure if Jordan 1 lows and or Jordans in general run big, but I will say that these fit me. I could probably still rock a 10 and a half. I don't mind the 10 though, just because my foot wasn't uh, wasn't too snug in there. You know, I think I can wear these around comfortably with the insoles in. And yes, I will be keeping these because I'm definitely that infatuated with them. And uh, and I think that's pretty much gonna gonna do it for these. Again, this is your Nike SB Air Jordan One Low in the Desert or Lance Mountains, and uh, that's gonna do it, guys. If you have any questions at all that I can answer for you, leave them down in the comment section. I get back to you just about every single person who does so. Thumbs up the video really helps the video gain traction. I appreciate you guys. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe, hit the bell notification, and get a nice little alert anytime I do something here on the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you for checking out the video. Yes, I will throw these on feet. Yes, I will walk around and give you a decent little look at them. And guys, thank you so much. That's going to do it for me. Until next time, I am RJ. Thank you so much. Peace out.